Scotland got us so confused. There might be bones coming out from the <laughs> ground. Well, I really didn't expect the weather to be as crazy as Denmark. No, I feel like Denmark is welcome back. Hello everybody, I'm Sutin. Today is September 5th, which is also our last day in Scotland. And right now it's like 6.50 a.m. And we just checked out of our hostel and walked to the Glasgow Central Station in the rain because it's raining again. We are waiting for our... It's supposed to be 7.14 a.m. train but right now on the board it says 7.39. I hope it's 7.39 and it doesn't delay anymore. But yeah, our flight back to Denmark is actually in the afternoon like in 3 10 p.m. Yeah, but because the Scottish Railway called Scott Rail, they like have a strike or something today. They wrote it on their website so they don't have much trains going back to Edinburgh. So we have to catch this very early train and go back to Edinburgh and just spend our time there, eat lunch. Mm. And if it's gonna rain all day, I don't think we might be going anywhere. But yeah, we'll see because we're carrying this big luggage. Scotland got us so confused. Like the thing is, our ticket is 7.14 from Glasgow Central, which is where we are waiting right now. And it is now 7.15. And we just went to ask the like people in the train station to be sure. And they told us, oh, your train actually goes from Queen Street. And then we were like, what the heck? Because on the app, it doesn't say anything. It says Glasgow Central. And Queen Street was the station that we reached two days ago. And then it's not possible to walk there in two minutes. But on this board here, there is a train going to Edinburgh at 7.39. So we asked him, can we just take that train from here? And he said, yeah, do whatever you want. You have a ticket. And I was like, oh, what? <laughs> okay. And then I asked him, so why does our train go from Queen Street, but not from Glasgow Central? And he said, oh, it's because of the strike action. Like there's a strike uh, here. And then he said that like, it's very normal and you should have known. It doesn't say here, what the heck? Okay, we are very confused with Scott Rail. It's a weird experience, but okay, as long as we get our train, I hope. So new said, say again. I miss Denmark now. <laughs> yeah, we miss Denmark now because like, yeah, if Denmark something changes in the train schedule, it will like, ride everywhere, it will inform and everything. <laughs> now we need to wait for another 20 minutes, and I hope that train really comes. Okay, we got on the train for 7.39, and we found another girl who is the same situation as us. Like her train is supposed to be 714. At least we got on. And it does say that, that it goes to Edinburgh Waverley. So I hope it does. These are the yogurt we bought last night. And my friend says it tastes like Yomi yogurt from... Okay, I don't know where the brand is from, but yeah, it's in Malaysia. So I'm excited to try Mueller. Oh my god, how pink. No, too. But it looks a bit gross, but it's actually very nice. The train is moving. Bye bye, Glasgow. Bye bye, Glasgow. Edinburgh. So it is raining outside in Edinburgh and the luggage storage here in Waverley Station costs 7.5 pounds for 3 hours. So we're not doing that. We're gonna carry this around. <laughs> Let's go. This is Edinburgh in the gloomy weather. There is the Scott Monument, there is the National Scottish National Gallery, there is random buildings. And right now we are heading to University of Edinburgh just to see other people's universities because we couldn't get in there. Okay, we can do it. Yeah, it's very dark. I finally found a new postcard. I'm going to Edinburgh, to Glasgow, to Edinburgh. And I'm going to find a new one. 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 Okay, bye bye. See you in Malaysia. Okay, bye bye. See you in Malaysia. Okay, bye bye. See you in Malaysia. There is a portal shop there and this whole part is University of Edinburgh but we don't see the gate so I'm not sure if they even have one University of Edinburgh and I don't think they have like a main gate so we are just looking around here Here they have a health and well-being center and this is some Dugald Stewart building it's probably someone's name and then this is the campus 
。哦，他这边有 visitor center， 还有一个 gift shop， 所以进去看一下。反正在这里啊，而且因为我们要吃了午餐才过去 airport， 然后那个午餐地方全部十一点、十二点才开。然后现在才十点十分 ，so we still need to spend time. So after the university, we are back here at Great Friars Kirk, yeah, which is the cemetery that we were here during the free ghost tour on the first day. But because it was at night, so it was very dark. We didn't see anything. So now we are back to see the day. So this treasure is famous for this dog called Bobby. And yeah, basically it's a symmetry and a park as well. And on the first night on the ghost tour, the guy said sometimes because of the rain and everything, there might be bones coming out from the <laughs> ground. So it's kind of creepy. So from this church yard, you can see up there is the castle, Edinburgh Castle, and a lot of people do tours here. It's quite famous. Later. So we are back at the Waverley train station where we will take our bus to the airport later. And guess what we are eating? KFC. <laughs> Here in UK. Yes, because there's only one KFC in Aarhus and it's very far out of town. So I've never tried it. And also because <laughs> it's only like 11 now and nothing is open for restaurants. So it's only fast food. So yeah, I'm getting chicken. I want to try the difference with Malaysia. So we got on the bus and we are going back to Edinburgh Airport. Thank you for choosing our airlink service. Bye bye Edinburgh. Free Wi-Fi and USB charging points are provided. Hey we are at Edinburgh Airport and we just took our boarding pass. Now we are going to going to security check so our flight is 3 10 p.m and we have been here for like 45 minutes and the gate will only be announced at 2 10 <laughs> and it's still not 2 10 yet we are here too early let's talk about the difference between um edinburgh glasgow and Aarhus. so which city do you like most <laughs> Aarhus. Of course, Aarhus. <laughs> okay, yeah, because like maybe we are used to Aarhus or whatever, but Scotland is. The people are not as nice <laughs> as in Denmark. <laughs> no, I mean, like, um, usually when you walk on the streets in Aarhus, people would smile at you, and we're not used to it in the beginning, but now we're too used to that that we start smiling at people on the streets. They must think we are weird. But <laughs> yeah, the street is a not bit clear. dirtier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also, the public transport here, right? I think it's the same in Malaysia. It's like, on every stop you get up, they will check your ticket. Yeah, which Sun Yu says is not efficient because they stop at every station and then they spend a long time checking the tickets. But yeah, they don't have as much trust as Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> the bus system is not unified. Oh yeah, the bus system is like, they have a lot of different buses. And like yesterday when we were in Glasgow, we wanted to take a bus. And maybe because of construction works or whatever, but like they changed the routes and they changed the time. And we were so confused about everything. And also like the Scott Rail, it happened to us twice when we went to Glasgow and also back that something happened. Yeah, go watch my previous vlog if you want to know what happened. But yeah, we are very confused with the bus and trains here. I'm not sure if it's our problem, but no, I don't think it's our problem. Why I say that people are not as nice, it's not just because they don't smile on the street. It's like yesterday when we were in, we were in Glasgow and we were taking the bus, the bus driver was so Mad. mad for no reason <laughs> i don't know why it's like when we got on the bus and then i scanned my ticket like under the qr code scanner and he was like down 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 there not up here and i was like what the heck how, how am i supposed to know and then he was like so mad and he was stepping on the brakes randomly throughout the bus ride and also inside the bus was not really clean like there was a lot of newspapers and tissue papers everywhere another thing is that actually i didn't expect scotland to be this bad weather like the wind on the second night was even crazier than the wind in Denmark. Like I mean, uh, around the same actually. But because we don't, we seldom walk out at night in Aarhus. 
but the other day it was because like at night and then it was raining and it was very windy and we were went we were going to look for dinner oh that was like such a horrible night and then our like our shoes our jeans and everything are soaked and then because we still have to wear it the second day so we used the hair dryer in the hostel to blow dry our shoes and then it worked surprisingly well but yeah it was really gross like the shoes were soaked and everything so nice. that that night's weather was terrible but yeah apart from that night i think the weather was okay like the third day morning we went to edinburgh castle and the weather was really nice and this morning it was raining a bit but it's just like it, there was no wind and it was just a bit drizzling so it was still fine but yeah the second night was horrible so i really didn't expect the weather to be as crazy as denmark but it was it's probably even worse in winter now it's only november like beginning of november yeah, okay, we're going to get 13. And then that like cabin crew has been crazy high mail line. I am here. And at the rear of the cabin. All exits are also shown on the safety card. The nearest exit may be behind you. is 35 minutes early for some reason so we can catch the 6 p.m bus initially our plane will arrive 5 50 and we will rush to get the 6 p.m bus but now we don't need to rush later so it's now about 8 o'clock and then we are going grocery shopping oh my wonton and then yeah scotland trip just like that now we are going to eat some things yes this is our wonton I'm trying to make tomato soup, but I'll see how it tastes like later. Now, whole you want my roll, so it's vegetarian soup. Just your meat, tan, and chai. I'm going to tell you something. 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 I'm going to tell you 然后我到Denmark这边的时候也申请了一个 CPR number 就是Residence Card 这样的东西啊 就是你在Denmark这边的时候有那张卡的话就可以get free healthcare 还有一些其他的benefit 只要有那个Residence Card 然后它的expiry date是明年的2月 所以就代表我是可以在Denmark到那个时候的啦 所以我这几次出国的时候 坐飞机啊还是过custom什么的时候 都是show那张卡 他们就不会问我的visa, residence permit之类的东西啊 So, 我这次去Scotland 刚从Edinburgh飞回来的时候然后到了比伦机场 然后就过那个passport control那边 就收那个passport control 我就直接收好那个residence card 说等下他不会问这样多啊 然后他看了一眼 然后他看着我一下 然后就笑 他讲, Welcome back 然后就chop 然后就给我过 然后我当下的感觉就是 Denmark is welcome back 就感觉 我不懂怎样形容那感觉啊，就是 I feel like I'm part of Denmark right now. 然后 Denmark is like back, you know. It's like when I travel somewhere and come back. Yeah, 我不懂怎样形容我的心情, but 就有点 sad 啦，因为现在已经十一月了嘛，然后下个月就要离开 Denmark 了，我就要回 Malaysia. 虽然我很爱 Malaysia 啦， but you know 在这边生活过得太美好了，so。呀,就这样啊,刚刚那个officer讲的那一句话,就让我感触非常的深。呀,就这样。
yeah, but the thing with Scotland, the water tan, is that I found Okay, it's very blur, but it says if you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text British Transport Police 61016. It's okay to feel vulnerable. Oh no, if you feel vulnerable, contact the blah blah blah. No one is ever alone and there's always help. It's okay to talk. Say cheese. CCTV cameras, I know. <laughs> Oh my god, this is a 